Friday night baseball from the Twin Cities Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins. Kyle Gibson will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, looking at his numbers, he's got three times the strikeouts to walks. And what that tells me, that's very good. He's going to dominate hitters. His stuff is electric. And if he continues to keep guys off balance and not walk hitters, he'll continue to have a success. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And H, we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, they're coming off winning a big game. I mean, they played great baseball. They scored a lot of runs in that win yesterday. So if they can carry that momentum over, they're going to be tough to beat. Buxton has to roam straight back. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Cannon Slugger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. Four run. Ready once again. Cannon Slugger. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch of the at bat. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got it. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Men come to the Digging in to now try it again. Cannon Slugger. Cannon He's been great lately, Slugger. and it's resulted in his being awarded with the American League Rook Month Award. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0-1. Matt, I tell you what, if I had a timeout and I went out there to talk to him, I'd say, look, we just got to minimize the damage. Bases loaded, no outs. We don't want them to blow the inning totally open. Skied into straightaway right. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Ready for another chance. Cannon for Slugger. 0 for 3 with an RBI in Cannon. this one. Slugger. First pitch of the at bat and a check swing here but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Well this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Well there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back a little bit and try to put that ball in play. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out. Of well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. Coverage now of Saturday Night Baseball as we welcome you to Target Field in Minneapolis. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins. So striding forward now, Cannon Slugger comes Cannon. off an 0 for 4 Slugger. in last night's ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. Santana takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. A chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Now at the plate, Cannon Slugger, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Digging in once again, Cannon Slugger. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. So striding in, the Cannon batter. Slugger. First baseman, Cannon Slugger. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And the run will score from second base as they open it up now four to one. And he'll make it in there with a two out double. Well that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. 
digging in and looking for more. For Cannon Slugger will be charged with trying Cannon to get on board Slugger. leading off the ninth. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. This is in the air out to right field. Kepler's there for it. He's got it one away. Wow, a nine out save. That's three. Daytime baseball here on MLB and Network. A Labor Day matchup in store for you here between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball. Digging in now, Cannon Slugger he comes in after a day of rest Cannon yesterday, so Slugger. we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Harold, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Well, we're looking at a ball club that really needs some leadership. They need one person to kind of step up, take his game to another level. They were shut out yesterday. They've been struggling lately. Riding in once again, Cannon Slugger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Kinsler. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Cannon Slugger. He's been great lately, and it's resulted in his being awarded with the American League Rookie of the Month Award. Now a swing and a fly ball. Martinez sprinting after it. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice. Digging Not in better. once again. Cannon Slugger. Cannon Slugger. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter. Tuesday night baseball now from Comerica now, Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Kansas City Royals, Michael Fulmer. A right-hander from the Sooner State gets the starting assignment here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's had good success Cannon against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Kinsler is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Cannon Slugger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Goes on the move. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Cannon Slugger. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Digging in and looking now for batting. more. Cannon Slugger. Cannon Slugger. Here's the first pitch to him. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. 
Well, that's a nice base hit right there. They got a little something working here, Matt. You got the tying run at second base and the go-ahead run at first base. How's it going to unfold? Just keeps on going. And a good look at the home of the Tigers, Comerica now, Park here in Detroit. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Daniel Norris. A southpaw from Tennessee is the man on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Matt, you look at the last three outings, and I know it's just a small sample size, but he's throwing the ball really well. And I look at his whip. His whip is 1-1. When you do that, you're throwing the ball pretty good. First pitch of the at-bat. Sliced hard on the ground. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one. Digging in for his second at-bat. Cannon Slugger. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay throw, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. You don't really expect a leadoff hitter, especially a rookie, to hit for power, but he blasts this thing, and when he rounds first, he's thinking triple all the way, and those young legs helped him get there, too. Ready for another chance? Cannon Slugger, two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Well, if you're looking to make an impression in September that's going to carry over to spring training, that's how you do it. Nice job, kid. Now at the plate, Cannon Slugger. For the He'll start things out for First us here in inning number eight. Cannon Slugger. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Hit hard on the ground to second. Ryan loves it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. It's always nice to give your fans a 